Assistant for Student Affairs and Chair of the Commencement Committee, it is my pleasure to announce the arrival of the graduating class of 2021. <laughs> Candidates for the baccalaureate degrees.
Ladies and gentlemen, the faculty of William and Mary. Please join me in welcoming the official party led by our rector, John Littell. Please rise as you are able for the National Anthem of the United States of America.
you for that lovely song, Ms. Shears. Good afternoon. Please be seated. Welcome to the sixth of six commencement ceremonies to celebrate the great class of 2021. Woo! Graduates, you have so much to be proud of. You have adapted in the face of unprecedented challenges. You have persevered and you have earned your degree. Parents, families, and friends, we are so happy to have you back here on campus now, together, even in the gentle spring warmth of a Virginia afternoon. Please know that there is water all around the stadium and use it, stay hydrated, all right? Members of William and Mary's Board of Visitors, we are delighted to have you bear witness to the fruits of an extraordinary education. Please rise and be recognized. <laughs> Members of William and Mary's faculty and staff all around the stadium, you have transformed research, teaching, learning, and living in the midst of pandemic. You have kept our grads on track to their diplomas. Thank you so much. Please rise and be thanked. Please be seated. Each year, William and Mary recognizes the excellence of scholarship and teaching by electing one professor as the professor of the class. The class of 2021 professor is Shante Hinton. <laughs> professor Hinton, please stand. Thank you and congratulations. For centuries, William and Mary graduates have served in our nation's armed forces with distinction. This weekend, the United States Army commissioned 11 William and Mary students. Receiving William and Mary degrees this weekend are 124 active duty, reserve, or military veterans. Would all military personnel and veterans, including everyone in the stage, stadium currently serving or who has served, please stand and receive our thanks. Thank you for your service to our nation. William and Mary's Royal Charter of 1693 establishes the position of Chancellor. William and Mary's current Chancellor is the Honorable Robert M. Gates, class of 1965. Chancellor Gates served as the Secretary of Defense, Director of the CIA, and President of Texas A&M University. He has served under eight U.S. Presidents and is the only Secretary of Defense to have served under presidents of both political parties. He models the highest ideals of public service that sustains democracy in the 21st century. Chancellor Gates joins us virtually today. Thank you, Catherine. To the class of 2021, congratulations. You have survived the strangest senior year in living memory. The last exam has been taken, the final paper submitted. The registrar has double checked and yes, you have indeed made it through one of the most rigorous educations in the world. In the midst of a global pandemic, no less. To the parents and families of the class of 2021, congratulations. You have much to, of which to be proud and you have much to celebrate. The last tuition check has cleared. However, for you parents contemplating newly available disposable income, forget it. The National Bank of Mom and Dad never closes. Director Littell and the board, thank you for your leadership during this latest test of William and Mary's resilience. To President Rowe, thank you for steering our university through the storms of the pandemic. I have no doubt that this chapter of William and Mary's storied history will be remembered with pride for the resilience, determination, and yes, the courage 
this campus community has shown over the past 15 months. For 328 years, William & Mary has prepared its graduates to engage in the open exchange of ideas and to seek wisdom in bridging differences. That engagement is a core element of a William & Mary education. Today, these qualities are all too rare. We are in a period in our country's history marked by too much shouting and too little listening, too much ego and self-certainty, and too little humility and open-mindedness. To overcome the challenges our nation and world face requires a willingness to listen and to learn. As graduates of this university, you have a responsibility to defend and perfect our democracy, to keep perfecting and reshaping it. Noting the extraordinary manner in which the class of 2021 has coped with incredible obstacles already, I have no doubt you are up to this challenge. The legacy of service, of making a difference for our country and for our fellow citizens, is the oldest and greatest tradition of this ancient institution, this alma mater of a nation. That shared legacy is what makes this home so special for all of us, so worth cherishing for a lifetime. As you graduate today, know that you too will meet this challenge and are destined to make a difference. Congratulations and God bless. Thank you, Chancellor Gates. It is now my privilege to welcome William and Mary's rector, John Littell. <clears throat> Thank you, President Rowe. On behalf of William & Mary's Board of Visitors, let me congratulate this year's graduating class. You have accomplished a great deal under trying circumstances. Your resilience, coupled with the commitment and hard work of our faculty and staff, got you to this point. Be proud and ever grateful to those who supported you here and at home for this remarkable achievement. At this point in the ceremony, William & Mary confers honorary degrees a tradition dating back to 1756. Like everything else about this ceremony, this tradition looks a little different in 2021. This year, William & Mary presents honorary degrees to the accomplished artist Faith Ringgold and U.S. Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy. We are pleased to bring the honorary degree ceremonies to you virtually. Afterwards, Dr. Ringgold and Dr. Kennedy will each offer greetings to the class of 2021. William and Mary conferred its first honorary degree in 1756 to innovator, writer, and statesman Benjamin Franklin. It is fitting that this year we honor an artist, author, activist, and icon known for her innovative artistry and for advancing equity. Faith Ringgold, your creative powers have broken so many boundaries in innovative and redemptive ways. Born in 1930, you grew up amid the flourishing of the Harlem Renaissance. You learned to sew and work with fabrics from your mother, a fashion designer. With her encouragement, the material arts became your passion. You enrolled at the City College of New York in 1950. You have shared that you appreciated your education, but it also taught you just what was missing. The curriculum included nothing on African and African-American art. Undeterred, you pursued that education yourself. You earned a bachelor's degree in fine art and education in 1955 and began your career embracing many roles, mother, teacher, student, artist. You gained acclaim for your African style masks, political posters, and quilts. You have written and illustrated beloved children's books, and you have advanced racial integration in the New York City art world. You penned a memoir, We Flew Over the Bridge, in 1995, in recent years, you've innovated in yet another new medium, inventing Quiltudoku, a game app that elevates Sudoku through color and pattern. Your artworks grace the world's most renowned museums and galleries. 
You have been recognized with more than 80 awards, including a National Endowment for the Arts Award, a Guggenheim Fellowship for Painting, and an NAACP Image Award. Your children's book, Tar Beach, is a Caldecott Honor Book, and it received the Coretta Scott King Award for illustration, both so well-deserved. In a 2020 New York Times interview, you said, I'm always thinking about what can be better. Through your artwork, you have changed the world for the better. You have triumphed. Faith Ringgold, your talent is extraordinary and our university is proud to honor you both for your creativity and the change you have led. With the authority vested in me by the ancient world charter of the College of William & Mary in Virginia, I now present you with a Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa. Congratulations to all of you, especially at this time when we have so much happening in the world today. But well, you will survive it. You will go out and do the best things that you can. You will combat the world with your education from this wonderful college. Anyone can fly. All you got to do is try. I am very pleased to be here with you. Thank you very, very much for having me. William & Mary has long been known as the alma mater of the nation. So it is fitting this year that we honor a leader who has strengthened the bedrock of our democracy through an unwavering commitment to impartial and fair judging. Anthony McLeod Kennedy, your career is renowned. The 104th justice to serve on the United States Supreme Court, you have promoted civic education in this nation and abroad and advanced the rule of law to uphold equality and human rights. Born in Sacramento, California, you learned about civic affairs from your attorney father and teacher mother. Your interest in government ignited at an early age and you served as a page in the California State Senate. You earned your Bachelor of Laws from Harvard Law School. You served in the California Army National Guard and then launched your career in public practice before becoming a professor of constitutional law at the McGeorge School of Law, University of the Pacific. In 1975, you were appointed to the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit by President Gerald Ford. Then in 1988, President Reagan nominated you as an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court, and you were unanimously confirmed by the United States Senate. You assumed senior status as a federal judge in 2018. During your tenure on the court, yours was often the pivotal vote alongside fellow Reagan nominee and former William & Mary Chancellor, Sandra Day O'Connor. Among the consequential opinions you handed down, you strengthened free expression and authored the majority opinion to legalize same-sex marriage nationwide. Your unwavering commitment to the Constitution has been lauded so often as it should be you embraced the role of teacher, calling the next generation into a deeper understanding of the ideals of democracy in all these ways. You exemplify the crucial role of the judiciary and the importance of neutral jurisprudence for the nation. Anthony Kennedy, your steadfast service to democratic principles has sustained our country through many trials. It is most fitting that the alma mater of the nation should honor you. With the authority vested in me by the ancient royal charter of the College of William and Mary in Virginia, I now present you with a Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. Congratulations, Dr. Kennedy. President Rowe, Rector Lytell, and members of these graduating classes who give me the privilege of joining you today in receiving this acclaimed degree. 
this honor will be treasured by my family and me for years to come. And it is of special significance that we receive it at a time when you graduate at a point where our country needs you more than the country has needed students for many, many years. The charter of William and Mary in 1693 states that the college is to study divinity, philosophy, languages, and other good arts and sciences. Notice the use of the term good. It has an ethical, a moral, a value-laden connotation. Do not be discouraged from using words, from following conduct, from adopting principles that have an ethical underpinning. This ultimately is what democracy means and what freedom seeks. There is dignity in debate. There is decency in discourse. There is discovery in discussing together ways to find new truths, new insights. This was well known and understood by some of the graduates who preceded you here. Professor George Wythe, Thomas Jefferson, James Monroe, Henry Clay, and now by you. To be here on the campus for just a few minutes, for just a few moments, is to experience what you've had the privilege of experiencing each day for years. That is to experience what it is like to be in a place that is a treasury, a treasury of new ideas, a treasury of new traditions, a treasury of dreams ready to be found, ready to be explored. And this you must do. This you must do as you find new ideas, new thoughts, new dreams for a new and better world. This you can do because of your experience here. This you can do because of your commitment to the rule of law and to the idea of freedom. And this you must do so that the rest of the world can look here to William and Mary, can look here to the United States, can look to you to see what freedom, to see what dignity, to see what liberty can and ought to mean. Again, thank you and congratulations. This year, William & Mary presented six university awards to our community. You can read more about each award recipient in the program. I am going to read the names of all the recipients and ask that you hold your applause until the end. The Lord Botetourt Medal, established in 1772, goes to the graduating senior with the greatest distinction in scholarship. The 2021 medal was presented to John Charles Kiner yesterday. The James Frederick Carr Memorial Cup goes to the graduating senior who best combines the qualities of character, scholarship, and leadership. This morning, the Carr Cup was awarded to Abram Clear. Our Graduate and Professional School Prize is named for Margaret the Lady Chat Thatcher, who served as the 21st Chancellor of William and Mary. The award goes to the Graduate or Professional School student of outstanding scholarship, service, and character. The Thatcher Prize was given to Joseph Matt yesterday. In memory of Algernon Sidney Sullivan, the New York Southern Society recognizes two students in the graduating class and one other person with close ties to William and Mary for heart, mind, and helpfulness to others. We honored graduating senior Sonia Kinkabwala, graduating law student Nicholas Ajavi Arma, and Chief Technology Officer Corinne Pekatagi yesterday. Also yesterday, William and Mary honored two faculty members and two staff members. The Graves Award for Sustained Excellence in Teaching was presented to Judith B. Harris and Robert J. Latour. The Duke Award, in recognition of outstanding staff 
was given to Wendy D. Urbano and Darlene O. White. Please join me in celebrating these exceptional faculty, staff, and graduates. Now it is my pleasure to introduce our undergraduate commencement speaker, Divya Dereja. Ms. Dereja graduated this morning with a Bachelor of Arts in Religious Studies and a minor in Biochemistry. She has served as director of Camp Kesem, William Mary, and has a passion for creating inclusive communities on campus. Please join me in welcoming Divya Dereja of the class of 2021 to the podium. I came into college with the cloud of ambition hanging over my head, and I wanted it to materialize as quickly as possible. I had 1,460 days to figure out what I wanted to do with my life and how that decision would benefit the rest of the world. As I'm sure you can imagine, freshman Divya was just a little bit melodramatic. Four years later, however, my time is up and I still don't have the answers to those questions. As the last year has forced so many of us to reevaluate our lives, I thought I would share my beginner's two-step guide on how to adult, graduating college without panicking edition. Number one, traditions like rules are meant to be broken. 100 years ago, it was traditional for our beloved campus to be occupied exclusively by white men. Since then, we have made strides in our efforts to create a more inclusive campus environment, to make sure everyone belongs in this tribe, in this family. This change is first and foremost championed by you, the students, who protested every Saturday for nine months, complying with social distancing and mask requirements to stand with black lives. This change is championed by our educators who have worked tirelessly to accommodate students no matter where they are, whether that be at home, on campus, or logging into Zoom class while literally on a ski lift. I urge you to use the coming months of uncertainty to continue taking the non-traditional paths and breaking the glass ceilings above you. Graduating into an economy where jobs are down and GameStop is way up, we have absolutely nothing to lose. Number two, education is humbling. Many of, us, many of us have spent the past year learning new words. My freshman roommate, for example, an economics major, recently asked me what exactly mRNA is. Thank you, Intro Biology, for making me feel like the Dr. Fauci of this campus. Others learned about words like racial inequity, privilege, and racism in a new light. While our time at William Mary is ending, I urge you to continue chasing education. So much of learning at college happens outside of the classroom. Like learning, you absolutely will get a staph infection if you jump in the creme d'eau. I urge you to champion spaces for further learning in the graduate programs, companies, and other institutions you attend or work for. Today, some of you will be the first in your families to have graduated from college. Today, some of you will have shattered people's expectations of your capabilities. Today, almost all of us will have in some way broken down economic, racial, and social barriers in pursuit of a higher education. This community has nurtured a space for us to think critically, challenge peacefully, and break out of our comfort zones. The humility required for this level of authentic discourse is the necessary product of an education, and I urge you to cultivate it in your future communities. So pause for a second this weekend, I know it's almost over, but still pause, and ask yourself, how have you pushed for change when you saw the potential for benefit? How have you redefined your path and inspired others to do the same? When I first came to William & Mary, I thought I would have so much of an impact on the school that by the time I graduated, there would be a plaque of my face hanging outside of the Wren Building. Needless to say, that has not yet happened. But four years later, my ego has shrunk and my appreciation for the simple acts of talking to people, sharing ideas, and lifting each other up has grown. 
You do not have to rebuild PBK brick by brick to have an influence on this campus. In this moment of uncertainty, the closing of our William Mary chapter, celebrate your personal growth, big or small, and thank those people that helped you get here. To my fellow graduates, I say this with the utmost confidence in each and every one of you. Carry forward that fire that burns in all of us to break tradition, chase learning, and champion change. Class of 2021, we have withstood a simply absurd year. But today, you have prevailed. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you, Ms. Dereja, for those fitting and powerful words. Some things we do this weekend we could not have imagined even a few weeks ago. Parents and friends are here with us. Some things this weekend are unique. We have six graduation ceremonies rather than one. And some things are sweeter than ever before celebrating together in person, without masks, hearing each graduate's name called. For everyone in our community, the successes that brought our graduates to this moment have been hard won. You earned them through grit and perseverance, despite loss and grief, with the support of the friends you made along the way and so many others. Care for others through service and mutual commitment has been a hallmark of William and Mary this year. William and Mary ran more than 63,000 COVID tests this year. We had nearly 100% compliance with mask wearing on campus and in our off-campus community. William and Mary students supported the culture in Williamsburg and our region of mask wearing, helping to bring positivity rates down quickly when you return to campus. Our students reported a 97% voting rate in the 2020 election. And nearly 2,000 students and employees logged nearly 4,300 hours of service in our community and region. <laughs> Under pandemic, we have been called to rethink, to redesign every ceremony, every tradition, every activity, every assumption about how William Mary teaches, learns, works, and convenes day by day. This year has stretched and changed us in ways that we are still discovering. We've used the word unprecedented so many times and accurately. Yet the truth is, years like this will come again in your life and again to our nation. When they do, you will need to call on the capacities that you have grown at William & Mary. Your grit, your capacity to persist in the face of challenges, from socially distant performances to Zoom study groups and co-curricular activities. Your ability to tolerate uncertainty all year when the future was full of risk, despite predictions that we would fail, learning to live with ambiguity and benefit from it. That is one of the greatest gains of the liberal arts and sciences education that we have here. And your ability to win out despite the doubts to craft the best learning experiences that you could and find companions through trial and transformation. As a university, we have come to understand what the philosopher Hannah Arendt called the imperative to think what we are doing, to be deeply mindful of how we go about our daily work and why at every moment. We have learned how to conquer our fears for the sake of our shared commitments to protect the health and safety of those who are most vulnerable. I remember listening to the Wren bell ring last spring on an empty campus. This spring, on every last day of classes, the Wren bell rang out so strong and clear as you celebrated the courage it took to sustain this community all year. Graduates, trust in those capacities and that courage. You can be confident that you are ready to be called on again. You have the capacities that you will need, that your communities will need, that this nation and the world will need. Grit, adaptability, commitment to others. These will be your superpowers all of your life. William & Mary will always remember this class and what we accomplished together. 
Now it is my pleasure to welcome Provost Peggy Adorgoris to the podium so we can begin what you have all been waiting for, the conferral of degrees for the amazing class of 2021. Thank you, President Rowe. We will begin the process of conferring earned degrees. Membership in honor societies at William & Mary demonstrates exceptional pursuit of academic excellence. Please stand if you have been inducted to Phi Beta Kappa, Mortar Board, Omicron Delta Kappa, or Beta Gamma Sigma. Please be seated. Thank you. There are 1,620 total candidates for the baccalaureate degrees this weekend. Several candidates join us virtually. When your name is called, we invite you to stand as you are able so that we may honor you. The deans will present the baccalaureate candidates by major. Robert C. Knoepel, Dean of the School of Education, will present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education. Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in elementary education, please come forward as your name is called. Amy Elizabeth Payne. Victoria Alcantero Villar. Caroline Gordon Close Brown. Morgan Nicole Buzzo. Morgan Elizabeth Hull Gonzalez. Catherine Alexandra Marshall. Maria Donahue Valleca, Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Sciences, will present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. We will begin with graduates with a major in biology. Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in biology, please come forward as your name is called. Gogo Ateyarad. I suppose we have your card. Mark Allen Lezanik Jr. William Agnew. Thank you, William. Thank you, lady. Alexis Mercedes Petrick. Hi. Emily K. Parrott. Dalmagui Shimulis. Angelica Johnson. Hello. Noah Dram Becker. Bren Brendan Capozzi. Jordan Shamukiga, 
Mark P. Wow. Jacqueline Isabel Amular Defeld. Margaret Lister. Mary Willis, sorry, Mary Wills Cook. Natalia Critchley. Natalie Michelle Caputo. Hannah Celine Boniak. Macy Marie Calder. Elizabeth Kellefont. Cami Lingenfelter. Aaron Markham. Ashley Casey Casey. Jacqueline Veronica Golden. Rachel Gottschalk. Anna B. Ledwin. Allison Adela Magrovaja. Kiana Melanie Rodriguez. Ezekiel Carothers. Teresa Lynn Cooney. Thank you, lady. Aaron Elizabeth Peterson. Thank you. Jillian Ragno. Sanjana Chala. Elizabeth Acree McDowell. My name's Danielle Denise Jones. Here we go, Khalil Takeo Russell. Hello, sir. How are you? Ryan Turner Shipman. Andrew High Bowie. Scott Walcott Kimmel. And that should be Kimmer. Guru Banda Song Kasa. Raleigh Nicole Wilson. Melina Victoria Sienski. Emily Nicole Diarly. Mackenzie Ryan Kloninger. I get it right, huh? <laughs> Alyssa Aaron Cleanland. <laughs> Elizabeth Doe. Hermala Zuri Hoon. <laughs> Juliana Rica. Amanda Caroline Yo. And it's Amanda Caroline Yo. <laughs> Bliss Gutierrez. Annie Mindeland Tainer. Lana Jagger Nathan. Jessica Lynn Hill. No, she's not moving to our correct it. Jessica Lynn Hill. <laughs> I can help on it though. Lillian Rose Parr.
Grace Lauren Holloway. Kaylee Morrison. Emily Wyatt Beach. Yashna Burma. Hello, sir. Clay Thomas Schaefer. Rebecca Simon Warren. Sally Adelaide Fraker. Elizabeth Bingham Miller. Emily Rose Rakes. Kai Mundy. Lauren Kahout. Maria Belen Hero Martin. <laughs> Clay Kemp Gibbons. Alexander Blank. Elena Gatteron. Lily Ann Fenton. Daniel Vallegas. Andrew Jonathan Rapp. Brennan Marshall Wilmot Mahon. I need to slow that. Ryan Lazardo. Jacob Alexander Shutt Warner. Evan Goodell, or Goodell, I'm sorry. Brittany Fernandez. Fernandez. Krista Renee Wink. Hi. Amy Forehand. Maya Alicia Kim. Anne Elizabeth Kutana. Hannah Schott. Bailey Hall. Mary Preston Reed. Madeline Chris Ann Sable. And actually, it's Madeline Chris Ann Sable. Joseph Nguyen. Stephanie Caitlin Doe. Elizabeth Lee. <laughs> Susan Valerie Zach. Lillian Evergreen. Katie Frances McDonald. Thank you. Natalie Ann Larson. Jenna Nicole Jungshin Holloman. Riley Neal Ward. Karina Legoa Vizani. Hello, what is <laughs> Ryan Edwin Foreman.
Malena Jacoby. Margreta Ann Kruger. Emma Gerger. Tatia Tatiana Mara Prelo. <laughs> Langston Naeem Forbes Jackson. <laughs> Christina Marie Booty. Alyssa Ann Costello. Cal Robert George Smith. David Michael Catracy III. Joshua Habib. Timothy Andrew Ribel Jr. <laughs> Patrick Godfrey. Batiel Hyla. Lindsay Renee Miller. Julia Mary Brown. Okay. And so these are the students who we are celebrating remotely, so hopefully they are watching and enjoying. So we have Victor Lee, Renee Napoliello, Madison Goodwin Powell, Justin Isaiah Reed, Alex Tan, Maya Nicole Watson, and so that is it. And for the students who I mispronounce your name, like Hamelda, sorry, I understand with my name, but I do apologize. I gave great effort. Congratulations, biology. Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in computational and applied mathematics and statistics, please come forward as your name is called. Alshandra Huang Caros. <laughs> Minhang Shu. Kiefer Gabriel Gilman Strickland. Benjamin Joseph Ralston. Julia Ann Urban. Andrea Del Carpio Gomez. Caleb Benjamin Baker. Teddy Halladin. William Christopher Glenbachy. Catherine Marie Munkesey. Emma Margaret Glass. E. Shi. Lauren Carrington Mayer. And here are our remote candidates. Shunyun Lee. Adam John Oliver. Shai Shang. Congrats to all of our CAMS graduates.
Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in computer science, please come forward as your name is called. John Francis Zwoboda. Sahithya Vishwanath. Kyle Daly Hersick. Caitlin Quinn. Daniel Thomas White. Gregory Ryan Quigg. Dominic Chase Peterson. Miodrog Volk Dronyak. Nicholas Joseph Salerno. Abigail Shalom Daniel. Catherine Burke. Jeffrey Petit Frere. Peter Zachary Dobler. Brian Marshall Boyd. Kyle Gorham. Daniel John Wegraff. William Daniel Kinney. Benjamin George Krupka. Jacob Alexander Wilson. Shrikant Trebivanath Mishra. Jacob Allen Adams. Carlin Adrian Klebein. Michael Grease. Kevin Courtright. David Joseph Lindsay. Michael Cameron Austin Holmes. Andrew John Evan. John Mallon Ransford Clapham. Daniel Quiroga. Gabriel Antonio Espinoza. Jordan Kula. Andrew Max Lubowski. J. R. Gast. Nathan David Smith Conger. Jackson Alexander Akers. Ontario Courtenay Turner II. Matthew James Freeman. Lauren A. Berry. Charles Harris. David Sun. Ashley Renee Robinson. Catherine Elizabeth Lannan. Emily Wydra. Jayla Sierra Jones. Jade Xinxi Chen. Alex Chung. Yao Ufuri Ade. Grace Lee. And four people joining us remotely. We have Moses Blessing Alexander, 
Ivan Aladar Sanchez, Jenny Sun, and Iru Jung. Congratulations. Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in data science, please come forward as your name is called. Laura Kelly Oswald Ong. Monica Alessia. Hannah Slevin. Kelton Victor Berry. Gabriel Maria Gaddy. Congratulations, Data Science. Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in geology, please come forward as your name is called. Tim Terlizzi. <laughs> Melanie Strick. <laughs> Zoe Munshine. <laughs> Kate Dean McKinney. <laughs> Colleen Norton. <laughs> Rosemary Isabel Bordado. <laughs> Mackenzie Crisco. Leah Ernest. Chris Pardo. Kelly Scott Thigpen. Claire Mariah Ray. Gabriel Robert Mojica. Olivia Joy Pearson. Brianna Maldonado. Sarah Catherine Snipes. Greta Mathias. Andrew Douglas Peck. Emily Ann Hall. Sarah Grace Lott. Mahina Okalani Robbins. Chris Bennett. Caitlin Marie Walker. Nicholas Christopher Vaca. Jacob Marie Tidwell. Junhao Jerry Hu. And a huge shout out for the class of 2021, geology. Congratulations. All right, so who knew that geology would be the rowdy ones, but I'm pretty sure math is going to beat them out. <laughs> uh, candidates for the baccalaureate degree in mathematics, please come forward as your name is called. Akshata Pishorodi. Camilla Harris. Bethany May Shears. Kate Diane Yone. Morgo Ann Saosigi. Samantha Kavanaugh Phillips. Ethan Michael Shelburne. Wenchuan Ding. Stephanie Carolina Palmer Perez. Joshua William Heaton. Annette Claudine Lopez de Villa. Ruo Chen. 
Paul Timothy Cordell, Jack Alexander Pasodelis, Wayne Wu, Andrew Cayete, Aaron Adam Hamilton, Matthew B. Dreher, Samuel Henshaw, Christopher Marcus Glenn, Alison Reynolds, Abigail Rose von Essendoft, Grace Elizabeth Mika, John Marlene Hawthorne III, Sarah Engelhardt Brown, Wenye Q, Kylie Lynn Hartman Caballero, and present virtually, Kali Jane Gardella, Heather Nichols Rodenberg, Tiger Wong, Shinji Zhang. Congratulations, math graduates. Thank you very much. Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in modern languages and literatures, including Chinese language and culture, French and Francophone studies, German studies, Hispanic studies, and Japanese studies. Please come forward as your name is called. Anna Gabrielle Zabayos. Ian Cropley. Alexander Vanek. Tylee Jean Quinton. Hannah Elizabeth Sanner. Jasmine Fongsaneth Harper. Julian C. Powers. Emily Catherine Foster. Nori J. Thurman. Sally Margaret Malis. Menon Dees. Noel Emily Milinarchik. Zoe Limenestrel. Lou Sheridan and uh, graduating with us remotely, Yuta Freyma Apia, Danielle Elaine Gray, and Tristan Edmund Ramage. Congratulations, French and Francophone Studies. I'm doing good. Daisy Sinead Beverly Garner. Patrick Shanahan Salzburg. Congratulations to German studies. And now Hispanic studies. Maxwell James Minogue. Mackenzie Ann Kroll. Thank you. Kelly Patricia Shore. 
Julia Louise Tripadi. Emma Elizabeth Manring. Kathleen Tara Shannon. Victoria Ann McCaffrey. Barum Reed Tyler Nardo. And uh, graduating with us remotely, Christina Yvonne Scherer. In Japanese studies. Benjamin Patrick Ryan. Campbell Henry Wharton. Jackson Lawson. And graduating remotely, Rebecca Eleanor Willis. Congratulations to the second cohort of the Japanese Studies major. Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in self-designed major, come forward as your name is called. Kira McGarvey Sears. Catherine Elizabeth Dragonetti. Emma Catherine Wolfe. Finley Martha Stewart. Madison Carter Elliott. Kira Elizabeth Bain. Maxwell Alexander Buchholz. Kieran Lawrence Lowell. Catherine Teresa Brewer. Quentin John Anderson. Austin Curtis Anderson. Matthew Scott McCormack. Mason Kenneth Cox. Nicholas Hoyt. Mele Tasviahanis Haddis. Ryan Lingo. Madeline Mulder. Dana Elise Armstrong. Gianna Nicole Maniachi. Faria Sana Raymond. Emery Ann Strimple. Sophia Amitamo Domingo. Sylvia Marina Shea. And our remote graduates, Judith Melanie Tauber and Daniel Christopher Tyler. Congratulations to all those self-designed majors who forged their own path. We'll wait just a moment so everyone can make it back to their seats.
Would all the candidates for bachelor's degrees please rise as you are able so I may confer your degrees. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Visitors of the College of William and Mary in Virginia, I hereby confer upon each of you as appropriate the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education, Bachelor of Arts, or Bachelor of Science. I welcome you into the community of graduates and professionals well prepared to think critically, solve problems collaboratively, and lead positive change in our communities, our states, and nations. Congratulations! <laughs> Please be seated. William and Mary prepares public school teachers to serve the Commonwealth and the nation. Would today's graduates who have received teaching certification please stand and receive our thanks. Thank you. Please be seated. William & Mary has a global reach. Would all of our international students and our graduates who have studied, worked, or served abroad during their time at this university please stand? Thank you. Now, please join me in welcoming Marilyn Mediette, Chief Executive Officer of the Alumni Association and William and Mary alumna from the class of 1975. Thank you, President Rowe, and one last long, loud, boisterous cheer for the class of 2021! On behalf of the Alumni Association, it's my great honor and privilege to be the first to welcome you as some of our newest members. As you step across this threshold from student to alumnus, you join a remarkable network that is invaluable and will last a lifetime. We represent more than 100,000 alumni strong. Embrace this opportunity to be an active participant Join your local alumni network, wear that green and gold proudly, and return to campus often for homecoming and reunion weekend. Make it a point to get involved in the Young Guard, and don't hesitate to use those contacts for networking, friendship, and fellowship. And most importantly, please come visit us at our beautiful new alumni house, which is situated directly behind you, and serves as a testament for the important role that alumni play in our beloved alma mater. Now graduates, I'm gonna ask you to join me by reciting a creed as I induct you officially into the Alumni Association. When you walked in, there was a card on your seat. It has a pin on it. And after we recite the creed, I'm gonna ask you to pin yourself either on your uh, stole of the regalia or your robe, whichever is easier. And if I can ask everybody to stand now, are we ready? You have your pen, you have your card. The creed is gonna be on the screen above me. It's also on the card. Take the pen off of it. Here we go. As a graduate of William and Mary and as a new member of the William and Mary Alumni Association, I pledge to uphold the university's standards of honor, community, service, and tradition. I will support and cherish the ideals and values of William and Mary, encouraging others to do so as well, no matter how far from Williamsburg life takes me. Congratulations again to the class of 2021! So we are six-sixths of the way into our commencement celebration. 
I have a few words of thanks. There's some music, there are some instructions, and then there are two more important ceremonial tasks. First, the instructions. As you prepare to head out into the, this world to make it a better place, please show your care for those who have made this weekend-long celebration possible by cleaning up around you. Just look around your seat. And there are blue recycling bins available throughout the stadium. Second, hundreds of human beings have made these six ceremonies possible. And I would love it if the stadium could give a cheer to the staff and faculty and administrators who did it. Thank you to all of them. Now, please rise as you are able and join the choir in singing verses one and four of the alma mater, which is on page nine in your program. In just a moment, the platform party, the faculty and staff and graduates will recess out of the stadium. Faculty marshals will lead graduates out of the stadium. You're going to be recessing by rows and exit towards Sadler Terrace. Audience, I just ask if you would remain in your seats while the recessional has concluding and then swiftly clear the stadium. As you exit, please observe social distancing so we can continue to keep our community safe. All right, here we go. As president, I officially declare that the 2020-2021 session in the 328th year of William & Mary is in now concluded. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh. 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 